moving to Washington, Congress is set to extend a federal aid program for struggling businesses after criticism that too much of the money has gone to large corporations. Last night, President Trump called on Harvard University to return more than $8 million in emergency aid. Harvard, which had a $41 billion endowment before the recent stock market downturn, says 100 percent of that grant money will go to support students. Wei Zhejiang is at the White House for us with the latest on that, plus Mr. Trump's newest plan to restrict immigration. Wei good morning. What do we know about that plan? Oh, Tony, the president just tweeted this morning that he will sign an order today to suspend the issuing of green cards for at least 60 days in order to cut back competition for American jobs as the economy rebounds, although some people like seasonal agriculture workers will be exempt. Critics say this is merely a political stunt. President Trump is set to sign executive action that will temporarily suspend applications for permanent residency, claiming the move will help Americans looking for work. By pausing immigration, we'll help put unemployed Americans first in line for jobs as America reopens. And Democrats have accused Mr. Trump of having an ulterior motive, fulfilling a campaign promise to scale back on legal immigration. No, I'm not, I'm not doing that at all. Meanwhile, there was some good news for the more than 22 million unemployed Americans. Congressional leaders finally came to an agreement on adding additional funds to the Paycheck Protection Program, or PPP. There are always a lot of claims about who won and who lost, but I think the American people are the ones who won. The nearly $500 billion deal includes $310 billion for small business loans, $60 billion of which will be set aside for smaller banks and lenders. When the first round of aid was distributed, large entities received $10 million loans. Shake Shack returned its money, and the administration wants others like Harvard University to do the same. Harvard's going to pay back the money, and uh, they shouldn't be taking it. Harvard pushed back late last night, saying the money they received came from a different fund meant to help struggling students. The deal also includes $75 billion for hospitals and $25 billion for virus testing. It's unclear exactly what a national testing program will look like, but the House is expected to pass the bill tomorrow, and the president has already indicated he will sign it. Meanwhile, the White House is already eyeing a brand new phase four stimulus package, hoping to revive the ravaged economy. Gail. A lot of people today, we should saying, show me the money. Thank you very much.